super hot super hot super hot super hot Welcome back guys, Crazed here, and today I want to play a game that's actually free to play right now. You can just download it if you got gold uh, membership. Go ahead and give this a download and give this a try. It's a really cool little game. This is called Super Hot. Uh, it's actually a really interesting game. Uh, it, there is a bit of a learning curve, and trust me, the gameplay you are watching is not going to be the best gameplay ever. <laughs> Matter of fact, it is really difficult uh, to really kind of get the concept. The concept of this is that when you move, that's when time goes forward. And yes, that right there fails. You're going to have a lot of them. Uh, it's going to be a lot. But the game is actually pretty forgiving in that aspect. It seems to be telling a slight little story. Now, I kind of think this is generally just the uh, tutorial mode area here um, I don't think this is like really in-depth but it's actually really cool because the more I played it the more I got a little bit more used to the controls it took me about a good hour or so I think just playing and kind of getting the idea and how to play this game because it's really kind of a cool idea uh, if you're tired of like the standard shooters uh, for a little while and just want to take a little break definitely a good game to quick uh, pick up and give it a shot I like to kind of <laughs> they do this little thing once you complete a level because it's based on levels it's not like a, a major campaign but it seems like it gives you a quick little story and uh, I mean I'm talking quick like this grab the gun I mean that's that's the story but it does seem to add a little bit of narrative as you go along. And you just, just got these little rooms, you just got a clear amount of all these guys. And that seems to be the basis of it, but it's really kind of cool to see how you do it. Uh, and you, the better you get at it, uh, you get more options, uh, more weapons. Uh, I've seen the assault rifle, and of course the shotgun and the pistol, which you're seeing here, and uh, the sword. <laughs> And just picking up random objects and just throwing them, which is really kind of cool to see. Um, but you are going to fail a lot. This is a kind of a steep learning curve because it's not something we've played ever before. And I kind of like it. Uh, it's kind of fun. If you just want to just break up the monotony of just playing straight old shooter. And it seems to be single player. I don't think they can do multiplayer. I didn't see anything. It's kind of hard to tell. The menu system... As you saw in the beginning, is a little odd. It's just like files and whatever, and like the old CDOS method, and uh, it's it's a little confusing. the The menu system is a little confusing, but it's pretty easy to get into the game and uh, play it. So that this hallway here actually took me about ten minutes to get through. <laughs> I kept moving. Too, if you move too fast, the bullets come right at you. And they go, they go really quick, but if you take it slow, it's it's not too bad. And let's see here, let's see. You know, we just grab the gun. I like the animations of it. It's kind of really cool. It's like Matrix, Matrix E type effects, and uh, uh, how you do stuff. And it's really interesting. And I love the bullet animation. You see them coming. Uh, <laughs> what's really bad is when you see them coming and you know you're going to get hit it's because you can't move away fast enough or slow enough however the case may be uh, I think I show that at least once or twice but <laughs> it's so bad you see it coming and you can't do nothing uh, you can throw weapons it kind of stuns them it won't kill them but it will stun them and it makes it a little easier to take their, uh, their weapons or just uh, give them a good old fashioned beat down which is kind of cool so anyways, I think this is actually a pretty cool little game. If you haven't picked this up, it's free. Uh, give it a try, man. Give it a try. See, right there, it tells you a little bit of story. So he says, well, you're coming with us. And how about no? How about no? I'm going to kick your butt and, and everybody that's with you. Now, I, this, this little area here is kind of took me a little while, too. Because what happens 
and I didn't know this, it's not like they're all on the screen. All the enemies are on the screen uh, when you first get there. Like your normal shooter when you get into it, uh, all the enemies are there. You see them, you can count for where they're at, uh, more or less, eh, except for jackals and trees. We all know about them jackals in the trees with the snipers. But <laughs> more or less, uh, you know where they're at. But these guys, they will actually spawn. And the way you know they're spawning is that it, the areas glow red. You see, that just area glowed red. He just spawned up there. And that's where you know when they're coming out of. So a little tip, little trick uh, to that. You see, there I failed here. And, um, and like I said, you're going to fail a lot just to get through the stages. But you kind of start realizing what they're doing and, and where they go. And, and then sometimes you just get stuck. I was stuck on this one area for a little while. And I just changed it up. I just like completely changed my area of attack and it just uh, immediately just got through it through that stage. And it's kind of cool. I haven't played a shooter where there's like stages in a long time or even any game where it's like a stage and you just got to get through it and um, as fast or as quick as you can or as, as slow as you can in this, this case. So he just spawned right behind me. Throw the gun at him, grab it in the air, shoot him in the face. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I thought it was pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool little uh, concept here and definitely worth checking out. Uh, let's see, I'm going to think I'm going to do like one more just to show it to you. I, I think I picked up the katana in this. I'm not sure. Uh, but that was actually kind of cool. All right. I think the only thing I really don't care for i think i just threw a bat at him i'm not sure grab the gun out of the air uh is is the um intermission screens with the static and stuff that gets a little annoying but um i suppose it, it, it's not too bad it's not too bad all right let's see good over here hey you're gonna suck gun buddy pound your face <laughs> that's a, still it's a pretty cool little game so definitely if you haven't tried it Really fun uh, to check this out. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot on this, but I, I enjoyed it. I definitely would uh, play this a little bit more. I kind of want to see if there is an actual story. Let's see if I can get that. Nope, I kind of skipped that. But you are able to pick up that katana and just start just beating the heck out of people. He's got one. But I shot him in the face. There you go. You see the red on the left there? Uh, you just saw it briefly. That means they're spawning in there. I, said, I did not realize that's what happens and, until later on. It's like, oh, okay. Now I know enemies are coming because you only got these small little areas. They're not very big. And you just got to clear the room of enemies, but they keep spawning in. Kind of like firefight, more or less. A until you get them all down, uh, until you complete the wave, uh, you can't go on to the next level. But I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. It's really cool little game. I definitely recommend checking out Super Hot. Uh, it's free. Why not? This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.